What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn the differences between zero shot, few shot, and chain of thought. So those three are uh, the main types of prompting. So let's begin with the first one here, zero shot prompting. Well, it is a technique where a language model is able to generate responses to prompt it has never been explicitly trained on. It achieves this by understanding the general context and structure of the prompt, allowing it to generate coherent and relevant responses. So when it comes to zero prompting, um, there is no need for us to provide uh, examples, right? So all we need to do is just to um, set the equations or the instructions and ChatGPT is going to answer it without us having to provide them examples. So let me give you an example here. Um, let's see, I want to ask what is the color of a moon, all right? So what is the color of moon, all right? So I'm just going to ask these questions. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to answer these questions. And guess what? I don't provide any examples here, right? And we'll see. The color of the moon appears to be mostly gray or white. Okay, as you guys can see, now ChatGPT is generating us the answer to that questions, right? And the the answer is pretty complex like this. Meanwhile, the questions or the prompt was extremely short. So we didn't provide any examples. We didn't uh, tell ChatGPT what we expected. We only asked these questions, right? So that's called uh, zero shot prompting. And let's talk about the next one here, um, few shot prompting. So few shot prompting takes the concept further by training the model on a limited number of examples related to a specific prompt enhancing its ability to generate accurate responses with the domain. So in other words, when it comes to a few shot prompting, we uh, kind of train the JetGPT model first. And you might be wondering like how to train it? Do we need to code? No, we only only need to provide a um, few examples or maybe just let JetGPT know what is our expected output, right? So for example, I sell sneakers and I want to create ad copy so I'm gonna utilize ChatGPT to generate me ad copy for my sneaker products or maybe product descriptions um, for my sneakers all right and instead of just writing um, hey generate me ad copy for my sneaker because that's going to be considered as zero shot prom right but this time since we are going to make an example for a few shot prompts we will need to provide um, an example regarding what is going to be our expected output so ChatGPT will understand okay this is what you want right so yeah I'm gonna create the prompt can you generate me ad copy for my sneakers sneaker products um, with the same structure as maybe I'm gonna pick this ad copy um, all right so I'm gonna paste this here right so guess what in this case in this particular case um, we're providing examples to chat GPT so we are actually doing you know, some training to um, GPT models hey uh, actually I want your response I want your output to have the same structure like this right so that's what we usually call as few shot prompt all right cool so now ChatGPT is going to generate us um the ad copy or a product descriptions whatever you want to call it i know those two are totally different things but yeah um as you guys can see now ChatGPT has generated us an ad copy for our sneaker products with the same structure as this all right Introducing our latest sneakers collections where timeless elegance meets runway uh, inspirations. Yeah, so that's how you guys do it. And you might be wondering like, hey, uh, when should I use zero shot prompt? When should I use um, few shot prompt? Well, it really depends on what you're doing. It really depends on what is your expected uh, output, right? So if you're um, if you are planning to use ChatGPT to generate you a very complex um, template or maybe a very complex um, concept, then I really recommend you to go with the few shot prompts because it's going to be better if you train the model first 
to at least understand like what you want. But if you want ChatGP to, to generate you ideas, uh, generate you a new ideas, then I would recommend you to go with the zero shot prompt because when you don't provide any examples to ChatGPT, actually that can be a good thing because um, you're not limiting ChatGPT creativity, right? You're not providing any examples, so ChatGPT can uh, freely think without having to be restricted to you know particular um, constraint. So yeah, uh, so that's it for few shot prompt. Let's move on to the last one here, chain of thoughts. So chain of thoughts refers to the ability of language models to maintain coherent and logical progressions in a conversations by understanding and referencing prior context and informations allowing for more engaging and natural interactions. So yeah, when you're having conversations with ChatGPT, let me give you an example. Um, it can be uh, continuous conversations, right? You ask questions and ChatGPT replied um, to your questions and you can ask another questions or ask questions related to the previous questions and ChatGPT is going to provide you with more and more answers. So let me show you how it works. So let's see. Um, I want ChatGPT to generate me ideas for my e-commerce business. Generate me ideas for my e-commerce business. All right, so now ChatGPT is going to generate me ideas. We have one, uh, needs product selections, personalized recommendations, subscription, bulk service, user generated content, social media, influencer, Right, cool. So actually, I'm um, kind of interested in uh, user-generated content. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to tell ChatGPT I am interested in user-generated content. So would you please um, tell me how to start? Right, so now ChatGPT is going to tell us step-by-step uh, -step on how to start user-generated content or UGC business, right? Although this is not very related to e-commerce, um, although this is not um, very related to our original questions, but that's completely fine, right? As you guys can see, this is how for um, the directions of conversations can potentially be uh, moved. Right. So yeah, um, define your goals, choose the right platform, create the branded hashtags, run contests, or give ways. So as you guys can see, this is like continuous conversations, right? I ask questions, ChatGPT answer that questions, and then I ask another questions related to uh, ChatGPT's answer, and ChatGPT replies me back. So yeah, that's um, that's the examples of chain of thoughts, right? So yeah, those are three um, different types of prompts for ChatGPT. Uh, I think that's it. That's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the